presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, why I never, and I mean never, put a video directly in the playlist, and what I do instead and why. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever put a video in the playlist and been confused because you couldn't do exactly what you thought you ought to be able to do, go ahead and give me a like and thumbs up. So one of the great things about ProPresenter is how flexible it is. But sometimes people do things one way and expect it to act like if they did it another way. So I thought that I would clear that up and share why I never do one of the things that it can do. So let's head over to the computer and we will take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter and one of the things that you can do is you can just drag a video down here from the media bin, uh, especially if it's a foreground like this is, and you can just drag it into the playlist. But look what happens when you click on it. You get this uh, user interface. First off, sometimes I do want to know where a video is located, but I'm not sure that I need that during the middle of when I'm using ProPresenter. So that's perhaps a little less than helpful to me. Um, duration is fine. The title is fine. But really the only thing that you can do is right here you can click the big old play button or I suppose you can go into the inspector and you can uh, tweak stuff here, you know, go in here, set the bit, uh, the in point, the out point, etc. But really this is a lot more limited than the way that I do show videos. So let me show you what I do. The first thing I do is I click on the plus button here and I go to new presentation. And let's give that a title, video. Uh, theme really doesn't matter in this situation, so I'm just going to leave that as is. Size, I would want that to be the resolution of the largest display that I'm uh, going to show this video on. Uh, library, I'm going to leave this as is, but I would choose the appropriate library. And this particular playlist, I believe, is my uh, tutorial template pay, uh, playlist, so let's just add it to that. Um, oops, no, didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, went to another one, but still, let me just compare these two. So, remember, this is the way that it looked. This, because of this uh, theme here, let me right click and I'm going to add a different theme just to make it a little bit um, less busy. So, doesn't really matter which one that I choose, but I'm just going to. Maybe this one. Okay. So right now this does have uh, a background on it. That is something that they added in one of the recent uh, videos or revisions of ProPresenter. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, much better. Now let's drag this video up here. And now it's here. Notice this is a foreground video. Well, what does this get me that this doesn't? Well. If I right click on this, nothing happens. Well, if I right click on this, I can do all kinds of things like add a go to next timer if I want. Go to next timers for foreground videos are how long after the video is done before it proceeds to the next element. So in this case, I would probably want a go to next timer of zero. So I could do that. I can also right click on it and I can add an action. So if I wanted to clear one of the other layers at the same time, 
if I wanted to add a prop in at the same time, if I wanted to use uh, the communications functionality to send uh, a MIDI note or whatever that ProPresenter can communicate with, I could do that. I, I just have a lot more options. And I don't have kind of extra information that I don't need. I need the name here. Well, look, it's right there, just like it is right here. The duration, right here. So that's helpful. And I don't need its location. If I wanted it, I could do that elsewhere. If I wanted to uh, change the transition, I could do it here, or I could, just like I could do this here. Inspector isn't obvious here, but if I right click on it again, I have the ability to go to the inspector, same way. So I think that this is a cleaner interface. This gives me some more abilities. You know, the go to next timer, it gives me the ability to um, add actions. I didn't show you macros. I could add a macro. I can do a lot more stuff. And while I'm in here, I could add a second video in here if I wanted to. So, you know, if I wanted to add another one, and as soon as this one is over, it'll go to this one, and this is a background. So I have a lot more flexibility, and that's why I never put videos directly in the, t uh, in the playlist. I always put them into a presentation even if it's just a generic presentation that I reuse a lot, I still always put them in a presentation because they're just so much more powerful when you do that. And that is why I always do that in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick Give me your name and email address, and I'll get a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.